In this video, we're going to take a look at aligning objects in Word. Uh, there are two different definitions of alignment in Word. Uh, one is aligning text, which we've already talked about. And uh, you can left align, uh, you can center, you can right align, or you can justify text. Uh, but you can also align objects, and that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So we need some objects in addition to our text, and those are all on the Insert tab. And there are quite a few things that we can insert and then align. I'm not going to do all of these, but I'll do a handful of them. Uh, first of all, let's just put a picture in. So let's, and that's going to be a big picture, so we're going to have to shrink it down quite a bit. Let's shrink it a little bit more. Okay. And uh, let's go back to insert. Uh, online pictures would be the same thing. Uh, I'm going to pick a shape here and we'll put a shape in. So we'll do a little smiley face, make it about that big. And let's go back to insert. And um, you can also insert icons, 3D models, uh, smart art, charts, screenshots. Uh, all of these are going to be objects and uh, the alignment works pretty much the same way. Uh, also, word art is an option and a text box is an option. I'm going to choose a text box here and I'll just take the default one, which is a little bit too big, I think. So I'm just going to shrink that one down as well. So I've got three objects on my screen here and uh, let's just pick the smiley face here. Whenever you select one of these, you're going to get a format um, menu up here format tab so this is a shape format uh, this is picture format and when I select this uh, that is shape format as well and I should probably click on it so we can see what's there so we've got a bunch of options here for basically styles you know it's basically colors and, and fonts and uh, and uh, shapes uh, and then we got some word art stuff and then we've got all this stuff over here that has to do with arranging things on the page if I go now keep your eye on this and when I click on a picture over here and I click on picture format uh, I've got uh, pretty much the same things over here and then if I go click on another shape here uh, and click on shape format I'm back to seeing the same things I, I saw with the text box but those are all uh, fairly similar and what we're going to be looking at is the align options right now so if you have one item here let's just take the smiley face uh, it's easy to align one item uh, we've got it set to align to the margins and we've also got alignment guides turned on so we will just leave it at that i'm going to click on align left and it goes to the left margin i'm going to click on align center and it goes to the center between the margins and i'm going to do align right and it's going to going to go to the right margin uh, then we've also got some vertical ones I'm going to do a line top it goes to the top of the page and a line um, middle which is what they call vertical uh, centering and then we do a line bottom and I'm probably gonna to have to scroll here to see that but that is down at the bottom of the page okay it's also possible, uh, I'm going to go back, uh, I'll take the picture this time, and we'll go to picture format, and we're going to go to align, and my options are gone, um, and I think I know why my options are gone. I Let's go to wrap text here, and let's do, um, we'll do in front of text, and now let's go to our align options, and now they're turned on. So uh, the wrapping selection will affect your alignment. So if these are grayed out, uh, go check some of your alignment or your wrap text options. So now I'm going to say align to page. And if I go back here and take a look, that's turned on. So you get one of these or the other. It's yeah, Okay, so now we get page. And now I've got this selected. I'm going to align it to the left. And it goes to the edge of the page. And I'm going to align it to the center. And it goes uh, to the center of the page. And I'm going to align it to the right. And it goes to the right edge of the page. Um, and then similarly for the top and the middle and the bottom, and I think most of the time you're probably going to align to margins rather than all the way out to the edge of the page like that, where you're probably in an area that may not even be printable. So I'm going to turn that to align to margin. Uh, the other thing on the bottom down here is um, we've got alignment guides, and we're going to try the alignment guides right now. I'm going to pull this in. Actually, you can see a, mark, a green mark right there, the alignment guide for the right edge of the page. And another one shows up when I get to the right margin here. Uh, there's a horizontal one that marks the top of the paragraph. If I go down another paragraph, I should see one appear. Uh, when I get to the center between the left and right margins, 
um, that will appear. And when I get to the left edge here, I'll get another green uh, alignment guide on the left margin, and then of course one on the edge of the page. So uh, those are what alignment guides do. The alternative to alignment guides is something that I'm not a real big fan of, but you can have grid lines on here if you want to, and I just think that makes it pretty hard to see what you're doing. It just really clutters up the screen. So I never use that one. I'm going to turn it back to alignment guides. And that's how you align an individual object on the page. Uh, we'll stop here, and then on the next video, we'll talk about aligning objects relative to one another. And so we'll take all three of those objects and uh, try some different alignment options.